Hello everybody, Berto Guy here, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Alright, so let's uh, continue on with the game. See uh, what's, uh, what's involved in all of this. I suppose some introductions are in order. I guess we gotta talk to people. Just certain people. <laughs> to talk can I help you did you see the way this oh you're the new fifth year I'm Sebastian Sallow welcome to Slytherin thank you not everyone has a ministry escort to school he was a friend of Professor Figs who merely joined us for the ride still impressive dreadful yeah. way to go poor fellow glad you and figure all right uh, it, was it was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Uh, what were you reading? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. What do you mean? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. All right. Nice. One down. It's like there's only three other people to talk to. Everybody else is like I wouldn't do that if I were you. Again. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. <laughs> Told you. Oh, I know it all. You should have listened to me. Ah, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, <laughs> by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Uh... We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Uh... Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Mm. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Very friendly, very friendly. Let's go talk to this young chap in the corner. I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you ominous. certainly had a memorable arrival. Uh... Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. <clears throat> Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not nice. something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. 
It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. <laughs> Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. The guy looked at the ground most it's of the, the time, but looks like... It's Slytherin in here. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Oh. Let's go see, uh, Professor. Oh, I guess we gotta go up the stairs here. Ah, Professor Weasley. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I oh, am. Yeah. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Nice, stack in the deck. <laughs> here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Oh. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Then I shall. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. <clears throat> Alright. This way. Revelio. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. House chest. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Alright, so we just gotta walk slowly. What we're doing here. The right. guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I shouldn't look like much of a runner. Do keep up. <laughs> Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Oh. The statue. So lore. Uh, this is your wizarding XP. Alright. Challenges. Clicking your first guide page unlocks a new challenge category. Alright. And then we get special stuff. Alright. Sounds good. Keep an eye out for stuff like that, I guess. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Hmm. I guess that's just kind of stuff that we're going to have to look out for, right? Eh? Oh, entrance to the Slytherin room. Because there must have been more than one entrance because like we were in the common room. <clears throat> ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Hmm, Your cool. field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Use the M key. And then... Alright. Grandstand case. Are they gonna make me do it like this? 
Cause like, can't you just kind of like do this? Sounds good. Central. All right. So every little area has got their like little sub areas in them. That's interesting. I guess we're just gonna learn uh, how how all that works. It's kind of neat. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. All right. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross station, so to speak. I wish I could see what Hogwarts looks like. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. All right. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside mm. of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? <laughs> yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Sounds good. Sounds good. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? 
I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Probably. Professor. Good. Now, mm. as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okie dokie. This main quest, complete the main quest, will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spells or other requirements. In this case, you will need. Okay. Sounds good. So, let's go to. Let's go do the charms quest first. How's that? The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Hmm, sounds good. That's uh, pretty good. At least we can run around now. Very good, very good. Very nice, very nice game. Very beautiful. I think they nailed it pretty well. Talk about this. <laughs> you make a point. All the ghosts. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. My little brother. We sometimes have to remind them. Begin our quest. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. Do you? Even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Oh boy. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. 
Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Alrighty, so we gotta go this way. That's not bad. Akio! That is not bad. Thank you. you are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Okay, okay. Well, I learn a spell, take a book out of someone's hand, and that was a pretty good class. I like that quick class. Could have used classes like that when I was in high school. <laughs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? 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 <laughs> All right, what am I supposed to do, man? You tell me. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about <clears throat> theory all day, but practice is the best professor. Akio, show us how it's done. That's it! Don't lose oh, your composure! Okay. Very good! Oh, that was pretty damn close, though. Splendid! Oh. All right, all right, I'm about, I'm about. I got fitty, I got fitty. Very good, points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. So you gotta tap it twice, I gotta remember that, tap it twice. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. She's pretty good. There we go. Akio. <laughs> I got fifty two, man. Excellent control there. What's this? Thank you. That's how right it's there. done. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to go just a little too That was weak. Are you going to knock me into the next one? Come on, come on. Uh, okay, so I need to get Fiddy to beat her. We can do this. We can do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! That's it! Take that. Johnny! Johnny wins. <laughs> Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Yes, let's.
Mm, okay. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Hmm, I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go! So definitely about timing. You're gonna have to get them while... I let that one go too early. You gotta let it go about halfway. Very good. Ah, oh. Still managed to get it. It's impressive. There we go. Definitely gonna go for this one. Thank you, thank you. It's like I've played this before. <laughs> Watch this. Hit the block, hit the block, hit the block. Yeah, that's right. Yes! Man, I don't even need much to win. Akio! That just puts me ahead. Splendid! Thank you. Johnny wins again. Very good, both of you. Well done. Thank you. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Yes, Took you did. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I'll be an ass. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle, like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. Mm, I must good admit, point. however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> well done. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. How did you know? Like, of course, you can use Akio on humans if you're so inclined. Revelio. You'd be using it on clothing if you decide to You know it won't work on you. Nothing in here. A word, a if you would. No problem, sir. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, 
An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Very awesome. Good stuff. Time's class. Hello there. Class. You're the new student. Rebellion. I am. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. I am. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Nice. Alright, so let's have a look at our map here. Let's go to our next class. Uh, side quests. Alright, so there's side quests in the game too. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's track that. Let's go to uh, Defense them Against the Dark Arts. Where are we going? I figured it was downstairs. What's this? Come on. Rebellion. Anything from here? No? Alright. And you gotta check around apparently. Apparently she craps all over the place, right? So why not have a a little gander? What is this? Hmm. Maybe something interactable later on. this way. Very helpful. Very helpful. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. <laughs> to the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All right. I did that pretty good. Getting used to that little aiming Levioso. thing. Very nice. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> I can do this. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, 
than the basic cost. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak of your choice. Now, the best work is done. Nice. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. Good boy. I know. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Protego. Levioso. I do enjoy a life of you. <laughs> Just mop the bloody floor with the poor lad. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> <laughs> he looks pretty happy. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank nice. you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. Damn straight. I demand excellence from my students. <clears throat> they are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Sounds good. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh, sorry. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. <laughs> Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Mm. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Cool. Till cool. next time. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Nice, nice. Revelio. Mm, no. Alright, so what's the next uh, thing we're gonna do here? Oops. Uh, quests? But the dueling club. What are the main ones? There is no main ones yet. I guess that. All right, so <clears throat> got a little ways to run. Let's head it off that way. Do, 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 do. Man, this game is nice.
It's not too far of a run, anyways. Let's see here. Oh, there was a page there. Rebellious. From the toilet bowl where she said I could swim, did you practice a mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He oh tried to God. stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that oh, if I oh behaved, I'd have Can you do anything like this? I'll get you for this. Oh, here, okay. I don't know if that was me that helped him, or he just... <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny stuff. So I guess you're gonna kind of see the the pages glimmer a little bit in front of those things. Okay, that's pretty cool. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Revelio. Wonder what's up with these. Oh, uh, you gotta turn those ones on fire. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's this? Something green? Talk Can to I help you? Here. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Hmm. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! <coughs> Alright, so let's see how this is gonna go. We'll make you regret signing up. So yellow. Yeah, but I don't know if I have all the different colors. Let me open. Come on. Let me open. It's full zone. Oh crap. Let me open. about the whole stupid fight. Yeah. Yeah. All right, not bad, not bad. Pity more people can't watch the duels. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Nice. Thank you. Hope to see you back here again. Good stuff. Oh, no, it's this stuff. Revelio. Probably gotta use like a green spell on it or something. That's what I'm assuming. 
All right, so. Just wait till I've grown a bit, then we'll see how well you do. I feel sorry for your next opponent. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. All right, so it seems like the next quest is here. But I think before we get into that, that's all for the time we have for today. I'm going to try to keep the videos around the 45 minute mark. So next episode, we'll jump into, I guess, going to Hogsmeade and all that good stuff. So hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Peace. Take care. Like. Subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.